What's up guys? We got a very special edition of Motown Mail because I'm kidsless. I am without kids right now. So that means it is not a TTM video or a certified pickup video. Uh, it's probably a Com C video and or autograph trades video. I'm sorry, autograph draft video. So that's actually what it is. It is my Com C pickups. Uh, my latest uh, shipment, as well as autograph drafts. So let's do some Com C action. Some of these I'm gonna fly through. Uh, as you can see, only one magnetic, so it means it's a lower end. Nothing, nothing too amazing here. Um, this is a cool one. This is the Raging Bull, Jake LaMotta, um, boxing hall of famer. Uh, unfortunately, passed away a couple years ago. Really like this card a lot. It's from uh, Panini Golden Age on card autograph of the Raging Bull, so that's pretty sweet. I got Keston Hira. He made a pretty solid rookie campaign with the Milwaukee Brewers. Mackenzie Gore. He's got that real uh, high leg kick. Uh, really good young pitcher. Uh, and I wanted a card of him showing that high leg kick, so unfortunately they're few and far between. I'm not a huge uh, Topps Tech guy, but this is the kind of the image I wanted, so I got it. And it, was, it wasn't too expensive either, so... I uh, love this card. I'm actually kind of surprised it doesn't sell for more because uh, it really shows his passion for the game for museum collection archival autographs number two, 199 of Wilson Contreras, or as Pat Hughes says, Wilson Contreras. Uh, let's see here. Got a Tory Holt autograph, real nice legible signature from Don Russ Signatures, uh, Signature Marks. I didn't like how this card looked actually on the screen, but it was cheap. It was like five or six bucks. And it looks a lot better in person actually than it did. So I'm kind of happy with how that turned out. Um, Hunter Henry on card, Rookie Auto, at the patch you never wore from National Treasures, Collegiate Edition, number 99. Always love those cards. Uh, Bill Walton, uh, Revolution Autograph on card auto. This guy signs like crazy, so his stuff never sells for what it should in regards to his uh, previous uh, athletic endeavors. Uh, Jim Bouton uh, created uh, Big League Chew. He was also a, a Yankees pitcher. Uh, On-card autograph, he passed away, I think, within the past year. Uh, wrote the book Ball 4. Uh, so that's a nice on-card auto from Yankee Classic Scripts. Uh, one of the most underrated players in the game, Cattell Marte. Who's with the Diamondbacks? This is an on card rookie auto from tier one, numbered uh, 299. This stuff's so undervalued. It is going up, but it's nowhere near what it should be. Uh, Starling Marte, uh, on card auto from Museum Collection. I think I got that for like two and a half bucks or something. On card autograph of Artist Gilmore. Love the fro. Love this fro. Love that card in general. Always liked his autograph. It's kind of funky. Uh, that's from uh, number 299. I am getting over like a cold right now if my voice sounds a little goofy. Um, basketball Hall of Famer Arvidas Sabonis, whose kid DeMontis is uh, playing in the NBA now. Didn't have an autograph of the NBA Hall of Famer. Julius Randle, who's with the Knicks now. This is an on-card rookie auto from Select. Shaquem Griffin, uh, who lost his hand, I think, like the age of three or four or something. Um, Real inspirational story. Plays for the Seahawks. I think he's missing his hand there. Uh, Thomas Jones, who is always a really good running back for the Bears. Uh, this is actually a uh, official Super Bowl uh, 41 ticket stub. One of those Super Bowls that the uh, Bears lost, or the Super Bowl. I shouldn't say one of them. Rough season for my Bears. That's okay. Uh, on card order from Tim Anderson. I actually like. I love that. I, I hate the socks. I love those uniforms, though. Uh, another Tim Anderson. Got that cheap. Mark Pryor. They said there was, like, damage on here, and I don't see anything. So if you're on Comp C and it says there's damage, just really look it over. I know it's hard, sometimes hard to tell from a scan, but um, I don't see anything wrong with this card at all. So I got that really cheap uh, from Topps Archives. Sonny Gray. One of my favorite... Uh, Cards are these Topps Triple Threats on card Phenom Relic Autos. Tyler Glasnow, who I've been on high on him uh, since he was in low A ball. Got a pair of his game used cleats. It's with the Rays now. 
Uh, J.D. Davis. It's with the Mets now, I think. Uh, this is from his Cal State Fullerton days. Again, love those National Treasures Cal Junies. Uh, Robert Williams, who's with the Celtics. Not sure what he's doing. He was really doing really well in summer leagues. I picked that up on the cheap. Got Common. On card auto for, I'm sorry, sticker auto from Americana. Got that cheap. David Bodie. Fan favor, but really not that great of a player. On card auto from Gypsy Queen. Kareem Hunt. Got that cheap. Uh, Anthony Thomas. This was kind of a cool pickup. I loved his auto. Former Bears running back. Never really lived up to the hype. Uh, got Meta World Peace. Uh, or is he was known in these days as Ron Artest. Uh, on card rookie auto from SPX. Uh, Bulls point guard Tomas Sadoransky. On card rookie auto. Uh, we got a Nico Alonso or Kiko Nico uh, Kiko Alonso on card rookie auto from SP Authentic. Alex DeBrinket, really nice young player for the Blackhawks. Chris Zorch, former Bear, got that super cheap. Cole Calhoun from Gold Label. I think this is like a buck fifty, and it's one of those Gold Label uh, on card autos. I uh, always love this kid, Ramil Tapia. Um, never getting any of the hobby love that he probably deserves. I mean, these can get, I think you can get these for like three or four bucks, and I got this one for cheaper than that. Garrett Wolf, a fellow NIU alum. Another card where they said there was like damage to it in the bottom right hand corner. It's got a little bit of white, so I got that really cheap. Uh, Luke Cornett is with the Bulls now. John Duplantier, Victor Caratini, Craig Kilburn. And I got this for like 70 cents. I bought like a Justin Thomas autograph a couple years ago, a Goodwin Champions for like a buck fifty, and then at one point they were selling for like two hundred. So if I see like a Goodwin Champions golf auto for like super cheap, I'll get it. This is Yu Ting Shi. So that's my Comp C pickups. Hopefully enjoyed that. Uh, now these are my um, autograph TTM slash in person drafts again. If you don't know what that is. I send X amount of cards, meaning uh, specific criteria, to an organizer, and then we end up. Uh, he he takes scans of all of them, and we draft a snake style draft. Uh, so we submit a bunch of things that we have extras of, whatnot, and we get a bunch of things we didn't have or want. Uh, this is a real real quick four uh, Hall of Famers. It was four Hall of Famers or four deceased. Um, my first pick was Jerry Sloan, who. Uh, can no longer sign due to dementia. Really nice 1972-73 Topps Bulls card there. I got Greg Johnson, a former Red Wing. He unfortunately committed suicide a couple years ago. Didn't have an autograph of him. I got Lenny Wilkins. Uh, I, he was a, a USA basketball card. And then I got my last round pick, uh, Frank Lucchese, who was a former Cubs manager. So that was a quick and easy one. Uh, next one was a free-for-all, which means you send whatever you want. You could send mascot cards if you wanted to. That's literally anything you wanted. So my first round pick, Latroy Hawkins. Doesn't sign a whole lot, so kind of a nice auto there. Got Joey Cora. I'm going to fly through these. Uh, Kelvin Escobar. And these are in order for my draft, if you're wondering. That was like my third round pick. Sparky Lyle. That was pretty good value in the fourth round. Troy Gloss. Tuffy Rhodes. Roy White. I thought this was still surprising that was still there in whatever round, like six or seven. Eddie Rosario, uh, rookie auto. Frank Viola. Roinus Elias. Mark Repchinski. Ed Farmer, who always signs my cards in like red pen, so it was nice to get an upgrade there. Mike Torres. Jeff Nelson. Terry Kennedy. Lance Parrish. Jake McGee. Uh, Brian Hunter, the former Astro, there's two. Uh, Brian. For the longest time, I thought there was one Brian Hunter. There's two. <laughs> they played at the same time. Uh, Baylor Moore. Uh, David Eckstein. And actually, that was one of my submissions, and I ended up just drafting because it's still there and nothing really I wanted other than that. Jim Deshays, who's uh, one of the Cubs commentators now. Uh, Mike Marath. Butch Hobson. Steve Cycle Lyons. Glenn Abbott. Gene Larkin. Butch Winnegar, uh, Jay Gibbons, Neil Kotz, and my last round pick was Rob Ducey. Nothing worse than being the last round pick in a free-for-all draft. Uh, next was a, let's see here, deceased 
Nope. It was another free-for-all, I think. No, it was a, uh, you had to submit two cards from each team. Uh, obviously, you didn't have to draft, you'd draft whatever you wanted. Uh, so you see a lot of Cubs in here, because a lot of people, everybody had to submit at least two Cubs. So uh, My first round pick was Bob Robertson, 72 tops card. Coco Crisp, I thought that was kind of a cool card. I already had a Coco Auto, but this is his Bowman first rookie card when he was in the Cardinals organization. Never actually played a game with them. Uh, Jim Rooker, Don Gullett, Jesse Chavez, former Cub for like one season. Blake Parker, the old school unis. Uh, Kirk Neuenheis. We got a little Greg Vaughn action. Thought that was a decent value in that round. Uh, Mike Zagurski. He's a chunkster. But he's a fan favorite. Matt Merton. Like that photo with the ivy in the background. Sean Dunstan. Don't call me Shawan. Donnie Murphy again with the nice ivy in the background. Jerry Mumphrey. Brad Fulmer, I always liked his auto. Uh, Derek Law, Ian Stewart, Derek May, Buddy Carlisle, Mike Lansing, Brooks Kishnick, uh, Mike Harkey, Little Lomo, Logan Morrison, Jeff Acero, Chris Stratton, Mike Jacobs, Jose Valentin, Tom Foley, Cesar Poyle, Glenn Hubbard, and my last round pick. I'm surprised it was a last round pick, honestly, is Mike Cameron. Signs his mail like a maniac, so that's probably why everybody's, everybody and their mother has a Mike Cameron autograph. So that's it. That probably was longer than I wanted to be for a solo video. Uh, so, yeah, I, that's all I got. I got no one to talk to, so that's all I got for now. I want to thank you all for watching, and as always, please stay safe.